He makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. And I, I was thinking of, of that situation about the, the giving up of, of your families. And you know, God turns it all around. Joe, a perfect example. His family are Muslim. And, and now God is showing them who he is, the character that he, God has changed him into. And through that, they are asking him even for prayer. So, you know, God can turn things around. And in my situation, it just linked up perfectly with what happened at, at work because God just comes in and takes control of the situation. You know, what I was encouraged about was that our hearts need to be in tune with him. When a man's way pleases the Lord, are our hearts pleasing God in every situation? Because I know that morning when, when Maribel told me the story, uh, my heart wasn't pleasing the Lord. I was like, how dare she? I, almost I couldn't wait till she came in, till I was going to sort her out. And, and God just held back and he took control. Uh, and thankfully, he knows that I want to please him in my heart. But when I foolishly go my own way, he can rein it all in and make it his way. And hopefully the next time the lady comes back, the situation will be able to be pleasant as if it never happened. I know she's a regular customer, so I know she will be back. So all I'm saying this morning is, tune your heart to please the Lord. Sometimes, the situations where we have to be really courageous and you know it, God prepare, prepares us for that. Sometimes there's times when we have to be silent and God can shut our mouths. Just like God shut my mouth on Saturday. He, he can shut our mouths and he can calm us down in situations where we're going to do something that might be sinful. Amen. We need our hearts to be in tune with him it doesn't mean that we can tune our hearts to him one day and do what we like the next day. If our desire is to please the Lord, and that's what it says. It says, when a man's ways please the Lord. If day by day we seek to please him, he'll take care of the other things that go out without control. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Joseph just informed me that he's asked Amelia to say something just to encourage Amelia and I'm sure we'll be encouraged by now. You know what? God said to, to Joshua, be strong and courageous. And when God wants us to do something and shine for him, he gives us the strength and he gives us the courage. And you know the first time I was up here preaching, well, it was in England, my knees were shaking like this and my voice was a bit wobbly. It was my first time to stand in front of a crowd and teach God's word. I've done it in the house groups many times, and I've done many other things in the church, but the first time I stood up here, I was shaking too. So we understand you're nervous, but God will give you the strength to say what you have to Amen. say to God. Amen. You want to come and do it now? Fabulous. Because that just adds to my story, so thank you. 
because we have to let our light shine. And if we do something wrong, where people are watching us, then we're not letting the light of God shine. We're showing ourselves. And, and you've just encouraged me this week. Thank you. Thank you.